Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop somewhere in Illinois where a sovereign citizen has been pulled over because of his plates, only to find out that he has no insurance, no driver's license, or anything of that nature. And the only answer he's got is he's from the United States America Republic. So whatever the hell that means. Anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing? Hey. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, now, this is one of the few sovereign citizens that I've actually seen try and present a license. I mean, I guess he didn't go full soft hard yet, but we have only just now started. <laughs> she was. So you don't have a driver's license? Yeah, that's all I have. Yeah. Okay, wait, never mind. He actually didn't have a driver's license. Whatever that was he presented to the officer certainly is not one. Otherwise, would have found it acceptable. So, uh, I guess he lied to us all. What a shame. Shame on you, dude. Especially in front of your children trying to teach them bad morals. Do you have plates? Yeah. Is that a plate? Is yeah. that an actual plate? It's my plate. It's your own plate? Yeah. That you made? I ain't made, I bought it, it. From the DMV? From Florida. Is it a registered plate in the state of Florida? No, it's not. No. no. Right. So let's play some Sovereign Citizen Bingo, shall we? Uh, first off, we have uh, a fictitious plate and driving without a valid license, both of which are illegal in Illinois. Well, pretty much illegal in all 50 states, but this soft tard really doesn't care. In fact, he doesn't want to even uh, know what the real laws are. Okay. Why are you giving me this? No, this is my information. You asked my ID and everything. Driver's license. That's all I have. You never had a driver's license? Nope. How are you driving now? I'm traveling. Are you doing one of those things? Okay. Right back. Okay. Well, now it seems like the officer has been around the block a time or two dealing with these sovereign citizens because he was like, oh, you're one of those guys. Okay, then. So, in other words, the officer knows what the deal is and he's probably not going to tolerate his BS. Where do we live at? The United States of America Republic. Well, now, trying to teach your children how to lie to the cops? Oh, good job. Good job. I'm sure they'll grow up to be well-rounded, law-abiding citizens. He pulled off. He did what? He pulled off. Which one, Eddie? No, he just drove off. Remember that person he had Yeah. He just pulled off. Bear mm -hmm. Trying to find jurisdiction. <laughs> Trying to find contracts. But every Ben came back to the damn culture if it was a contract. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Soft Heart, if you actually believe that they don't have jurisdiction over you, then why the hell did you even pull over to begin with? Because if they somehow manage to pull you over and they don't actually have jurisdiction over you because you are some godlike sovereign citizen who is above the law, then, well, they can't do anything to you. But since you pulled over, uh, that indicates that, well, maybe they do have some authority over you in this scenario. I knew he was on bullshit. So when I seen him, he was pulling your hand. I don't know, what the fuck? Yeah, I made it right. You made it right. I'm not okay. But like I said, without, without contract, ain't no case. Without jurisdiction, ain't no case. <sighs> So, in the state of Illinois, you need to have a valid driver's license and valid plates. If you don't provide it with, provide me with those two things, I'm gonna have to write you the tickets, okay? Okay. And I'm guessing you live here, right? No. All right, what's, what's your address? I live in the United States of America Republic. Uh, uh, all right. Here's the thing, man. I need to know where you live so I can write you those tickets. If I, I can't, know. if you don't tell me where you live, then I gotta take you in. I know, I live in the United States of America. I know, Republic. I do too. But to make this go smooth for everybody, if you give me an address, we can get you out of here as quickly as possible. I live in the United States of America Republic, sir. Okay. So you're not gonna tell me where you live? I live in the United States of America Republic. Your address, where you, buy your, where you live? I don't live in the federal territories. I live in the United States okay, of America so Republic. Where, where is that? The United States of America Republic, sir. Are you sure you want to do this? I live in the United States of America okay. Republic, sir. All right. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. That's another thing. Never give a contractual waiver. Well, this video is about an hour long anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip through a lot of the parts of it because you know what? You've already seen him try to coach his family into lying to the officers, which uh not exactly a good thing to do in this scenario, but it still doesn't help him out anyway, so let's go ahead and skip ahead. Many, many minutes later. <sighs> hey, how, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How about you? You don't got a driver's license or uh, plates? Operating in the private, sir. What's no, that? I said I'm operating in the private. Operating in the private? Yes, sir. All right, you're on a public roadway, though. But you still got the constitutional right to travel. You do, but you also need a valid driver's license to operate a motor vehicle. That's if you was operating have... commercially, sir. Where are you headed? To the United States of America Republic. Well, you're already in the United States. I know, I said I'm going to the Republic. Where's the Republic at? We in the Republic right now. Are we traveling through the United States of America? Where's your destination? The Republic. The United States of America Republic. Okay, where's that? That's in the Republic. Where's that at? In the Union, in the Union Republic States. Okay, so when you put your GPS on, you put Republic and it, and yes, it comes up. I put United States of America Republic. Okay, and it tells you, it tells you where you go. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Do you have no insurance either on the car. So Republic. if you get into an accident, what do you say? I'm in the Republic, sir. I'm in the private. I'm saying if you get into an accident, you say you're in the Republic? I'm in the United States of America Republic. And you have no it's other form of ID on you besides that passport? It's just my passport. Yep. I have no contacts with the state. Uh, uh, where do you sleep at night? The United States of America Republic, sir. That's where you sleep at? Yes, sir. And where's that? Uh, the United States of America Republic, sir. United States of America Republic. We're trying to be cool with you, right? You understand? Right? Yeah, I respect, I respect not, all of you guys. Not providing information is illegal. But I understand what you're saying, but I'm giving you my exact address. That's the United States of America. That's not Republic. a valid address. Though. That's not a territorial address. That's uh, that's the country. I don't I don't reside within the federal yeah, territories of the District of Columbia. What do you do for work? Huh? What do you do for work? Which is a man, handyman. Handyman? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All right, but you got to give us an address or give us something. Otherwise, uh, we're going to bring you to the station. I swear, these officers are being far, far too generous with him. A lot of other officers would have arrested him by now. I understand what you're saying. I, I, live, I live in the United States of America. Right, that's Republic. not a valid address, though. I understand that, but this is uh, where I reside at. 
All right, so you want to, so you rather rather keep saying that than yes, sir. be cooperative with us. And you rather, you want to go to the station tonight and have us tow your car? Sir, you can do whatever you want. You know, I'm, I'm residing. I'm be leaning with you. I understand what you're saying, I, but I, I reside that. in the United States of America Republic. I don't have any contracts with the state. I'm not giving right, any fine, contracts. You so you don't live in any house? Any house? I live in a republic. Nothing. Yeah, my house so is, my, my, house, my house is, my house, I reside in the United States of America Republic. All right, so when, when, when you apply for a job or apply for something, I you just put, put it, USA you just Republic. Put, you just put USA Republic. Yes, sir. No numerical anything. No, sir. Just USA Republic. USA Republic, sir. Of the union uh, of the union states. Well, in Illinois, which is where you're at right now. Yes, sir. Which is part of the United States. You need to have valid registration on a vehicle to drive on a public roadway, which what you're on right now. Yes, sir. And you also need a valid driver's license to operate a vehicle in Illinois. I understand that, sir. Right, so I mean, we can give, we'll let you drive away, but you had to give us a valid address. I understand that. If not, you we're taking it to the station and then we'll tow the car. I understand that, sir. Can I give you the address? Yeah, but okay. United States Republic is not going to work in our system. I don't, I don't have any other address to go address. No, no, sir. You got parents' address, mom, no, dad. No, no sir. They live in the United States Republic. Yes, too? sir. All right, my man. You are a poster child, dude, of what not to be. An uncooperative sovereign citizen who uh, most likely is going to end up in jail one day because, well, you're an idiot. That's your kid and wife? Yes, sir. And they live with you? Yes. They don't have a, they don't have an address either? Where do you live at? Huh? Where do we live at? United States of America Republic. Six hours later. All right. Hey, how are you? So, is your wife, I'm assuming, yeah. significant other, does she have anything valid? She don't have any contracts in the state. You got you. Okay. Uh -huh. No. So, without your help, you're able to figure out who you are. Um, you have no valid registration, okay? Exactly, so you can't drive this car. Second thing is, you don't have a valid license. So I'm going to give you those two tickets. You're going to have a court date. Okay. You are not allowed to drive off from here. You have to park your car until someone else that has a valid license can drive it. I got somebody come over. Someone's coming here. Yeah, I got somebody coming. As long as you got someone coming here to pick up your car, that's fine. With a valid Wait, license. Since none of you guys have valid licenses, none of you guys can drive. You have insurance? I don't got none of that. You got none of that. Alright, so that's another ticket. So, All right. just sit here. Okay. Well, if I were the officers, considering that the vehicle is not registered or insured, I probably would have had the vehicle towed. Uh, so the officers are letting this guy off fairly light in this case. And all they're going to do is uh, have somebody come by and pick up the vehicle, which I don't think that's going to teach this soft hard any kind of lesson whatsoever. He's just going to continue down this road because, you know what? He's so indoctrinated, he knows he just got away with something, and he's going to do it again. What's your body? Stop. You see how the same didn't go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Okay. And usually, after they give you the ticket, they're going to pull out. Ain't no tickets to give you. Accept the ticket, rip that shit up, throw it in the garbage. Hey, <laughs> 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 listen, do she get a Fuck out of here. Listen, nobody in my family will ever have a contract with the state. It didn't sound like that shit was scripted. Mm -hmm. It didn't sound like that shit was scripted. Mm -hmm. It didn't sound like that shit was scripted when oh. you were talking. Yeah. Boy, I'm like, what the fuck? Because they have to go back there and converse, converse about it. I'll leave like, talk about it. How like, everyone knows. Okay. Because of the, if truth be told, like, Corey, who the fuck more than court day? Ripping that motherfucker ticket up, throwing that shit in the garbage. Till the a fucking court day. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, see what I mean? And guess what? When those warrants are issued for your arrest because of failure to appear, then you will start to understand that these uh, officers do have jurisdiction over you in that particular scenario. Moments later. What the hell are they trying to do? That's all. 
They ain't got nothing to do. They're like, damn. We don't got no jurisdiction. He ain't giving us jurisdiction. So that makes it harder. Alright, you got your ride coming? Yeah, I got I gotta uh, order it. What? I gotta order the ride. You gotta order it? Cause... Yeah, because I, I was waiting for y'all. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go ahead and order it, because it's going to be a few minutes, um, we just can't have you sitting on the side of the road. I can't. Will you go over there or something? Can we go over there until you come? You can't drive. I know I said can. Can, yeah, can we pull it right there? We're pulling over right here. Right oh, no, we're not driving. We're pulling yeah, over you know right what? there. We'll do that. So okay. Let me get you to sign this stuff first, okay? I'm going to go around. <laughs> no. You don't got a car seat for your other child? Yeah, we got a car seat. Who's okay, breastfeeding? Eating. Oh. You have the, where's the car seat at? You have two car seats. All right. So now what's going on? All right. So you're getting some tickets. That's pretty much it. You get a court date. Okay. That's it. You'll be on your way. These are your tickets. I'll explain to you. I can explain to you on this part. So this is an I bond. So technically, this is an arrest because you're driving without a license. It's a misdemeanor. This is going to be your court date right here, Skokie, June 14th at 9 a.m., one, room 102. These are the tickets you're getting. The car seat, no insurance, no plate, and no driver's license. Okay? That's it. You just sign right there, and that's it. No, I, don't, I don't accept the terms. Still gotta go, man. I understand what you're saying. You know, if you don't go, they're, they're, they're going to issue a warrant for your yeah, arrest. I understand that. And then anytime you get in contact with any single government agency, you're going to get arrested. And I understand that. And, and on top of that, like, look, you seem like a nice guy, but you're causing a lot of issues for yourself because if you don't go to court, we're going to issue that warrant. Okay. You're going to get pulled over because you don't have any place. Yes, sir. So I, I don't know if you want to do that with your family. I understand. So you don't want to sign? No, sir. Okay. So I'm going to write refused. Alright, so you're gonna pull over right there. Okay, I got I'll you. I'll meet you around the corner. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video right here. We have all seen how much of an idiot this guy is. I mean, he just got tickets for uh, no plates, no license, no insurance, no baby car seats. And now he has court dates that he says he's not going to show up for, which means there will probably be a warrant issued for his arrest. He doesn't care. He says he wants to be arrested. Well, uh, I guess you're going to enjoy some time with Bubba and the boys. So uh, let's see how that works out for you. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.